Hi guys, hope everybody's doing well. Welcome back to the channel, and if this is your first time with us, uh, it's good to see you. Welcome to Raising Spirits with Nolan Woods. Uh, so today, guys, it's all about the martini. Okay, you know it, you love it. Well, sort of. Actually, I'm always surprised how few people have actually tried the martini. Uh, everybody knows what it is, everybody's heard of it, but really not a lot of people actually drink them anymore. Maybe it's a little bit old school compared to how people like to drink cocktails nowadays, but I really love a martini. Um, and if you like a good strong drink, I highly recommend that you try it. It's a, uh, <laughs> it's a very stiff drink though, because you're basically just drinking straight liquor, so it is a very, very strong drink. But there's a lot of different ways you can play with it, and that's what we're going to do today. Like, I'll start by making the classic martini for you guys. But then we'll try out some different recipes and you guys will be able to see how, you know, there, there is a variety, there is a spectrum of martinis that you can play with and figure out what it is you like exactly. Um, we're going to focus on vodka martinis as opposed to gin martinis. Personally, I prefer vodka martinis and that's why we're going to go with uh, a vodka martini. And plus, vodka martinis also offer a lot more versatility. Um, they, uh, they just mix better with other things than gin because gin is a much more... You know, specific spirit. It's got those juniper flavors in it. So, gin's a little bit more. You know, it's hard to make drinks that are flexible with with gin. At least as far as the martini, because you don't water it down too much. It's a very very strong drink, no matter what you know you're mixing it with. We're gonna just show you guys some different ways to do this. So, here we go, guys. All about the martini. Let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so the first martini we're mixing today uh, is going to be the classic martini. So you're going to need your bottle of vodka, you're going to need dry vermouth, and uh, olives. But also, don't forget about the olive brine. Uh, that's, uh, that's what really what makes a dirty martini a dirty martini is the, the juice that comes in the olive jars, the brine, right? And I, I, I prefer my martinis to be pretty dirty, garnished with a couple olives, at least usually two olives. And, you know, as I said, we're going to use a shaker today. Uh, if you do not have a shaker, uh, that's okay. I mean, I highly recommend you get one, but that's okay. You can always just mix the drink uh, with a spoon in a, in a larger glass of some sort, but I do recommend getting a shaker. It's, they're, they're nice to have around, and you're going to need ice for your shaker. All of these drinks are going to require ice in your shaker as well. Um, and, and chill your glass. Whatever glass you're going to serve it in, whether it's a martini glass, if you don't have a martini glass, again, that's okay. You can use something else. But make sure it's chilled. Keep it in the freezer for a few minutes or in the fridge for an hour or something so that when you pour the drink, uh, the glass will keep your liquid, will keep the, the drink nice and cold because it's, uh, it's a drink that is always served cold, but you don't really, you don't add ice to a martini. You don't want the dilution. So make sure you have a nice chilled glass. Uh, some people, what they do is they take the glass and they just put ice in the glass to keep the inside chilled until they're ready to use it. Um, I don't like to waste my ice doing that, so I prefer to just pop it in the freezer for, for a few minutes or in the fridge or wh whatever. So yeah, this is going to be the classic martini, guys. Let's get to mixing. So there you had the classic martini guys. Super simple to do, super delicious, super iconic. Highly recommend you give that a try. So the next one we're going to do today is the espresso martini. For all you coffee lovers out there, this is a really special drink and I highly recommend you try this one as well. So of course, as always, we're going to start with vodka and then we're going to also have Kahlua in this one. Coffee liqueur. Gotta have it for a coffee or for an espresso martini, right? And then you're going to have a shot of espresso. Uh, I have a shot of espresso in this little jig here. My I don't have espresso like readily available at my house, so my roommate was kind enough to pick that up for me earlier today when she popped out. Um, if you do not have espresso, that's okay. You just make a really, really strong black coffee and use that instead, and that works. And then just a little touch of simple syrup. 
you know, depending on if you're the sort of person who likes sugar in their coffee, like I actually drink my coffee just black. So generally I, w I probably wouldn't even add simple syrup, but if you like that little touch of sweetness, a little bit of simple syrup is always good. And if you really want to take the, the martini to the next level, garnish it with a few fresh coffee beans and it'll just lift the whole drink and you'll taste it, you'll smell it, and it's, it's a really special experience. So, okay guys, this is gonna be the espresso martini. Let's get to mixing. And there you have the espresso martini, guys. Oh my god, if you're a fan of coffee, so good, so delicious. You gotta try it. It's rich, it's filling, and it, oh my god, it's just so delicious. I, I can't even begin to describe it. Try that one out, guys. Um, be careful with them, though, because it is espresso, so it's gonna, it's gonna lift you up pretty huge as well. You know, maybe if you're, you know, somebody who's not used to hanging out with your friends till 3 o'clock in the morning anymore, and you see your friends starting to wane a little bit, make them a few of those, pick them right up right back into it second win kind of thing um <laughs> but be careful with them because yeah booze and espresso real good combination there so <laughs> up next what we got is another martini classic and that is the apple teeny or the apple martini i don't exactly know ex precisely actually what the title is for it, but i've heard it called mostly the apple teeny so like a sour green apple martini is what it is so obviously again starting with vodka and then i have the apple sour puss um yeah, this green apple sweet shit that I rarely touch. It's been on my shelf for quite a while. But for mixing certain stuff, it's absolutely brilliant. And you 100% you need it for an apple teeny, which is why I have it. Uh, and then also you're going to have, you're going to need a, a sweet and sour. Um, for those of you who don't know, sweet and sour is basically a simple syrup and uh, lemon juice, just 50-50. This is one of the few things that I don't make myself. I don't make my own sweet and sour just because... For this to be 50-50, you need to squeeze a lot of fresh lemons. <laughs> and, you know, when you use the fresh lemon juice, it, it doesn't keep quite as well as just a store-bought one off the shelf. And, and for what they are, they're very good. So I usually just buy this one off of the shelf. Um, and no muss, no fuss, don't worry about it kind of thing. So this is going to be the Apple Teeny, guys. Another martini classic. Let's get to mixing. Teeny guys it's sweet it's sour and it really um it, it just it tastes like a, a fresh bite into a granny smith apple that's also filled with booze so that that makes it nice uh, oh another thing i should mention about the apple teenies you can always garnish with a nice little slice of granny smith apple i didn't do that because i don't have any granny smith apples on hand unfortunately um but uh yeah garnished with a, a little slice of apple is really just delicious but even without even without the garnish it's a great drink but with the garnish it's just a little bit better so yeah just keep that in mind so the next one on the list today is going to be the lemon drop uh, martini so for that one what you're going to need always vodka all of them have vodka I guess I don't really need to say it every time but I'm going to just so we can you know go through the recipe properly and then uh, 
uh, simple syrup for this one and we're going to use some fresh lemon juice. Again, I have it already squeezed and put in a jigger here. And I will garnish it with a twist of lemon. So this one is, you know, it's actually kind of in the same genre of the apple teeny. It's sweet, it's sour, but it's, it, it's a more subtle sweet. It's a more subtle sour. I mean, like literally, so you got the simple syrup and you got the, uh, the, the fresh lemon, right? So you could literally just use sweet and sour to mix this drink instead of using the simple syrup and the lemon. But I prefer to use the fresh lemon juice myself, which is why I'm using the simple syrup and the lemon juice instead of just the sweet and sour. Uh, but you can do that. If you have sweet and sour and you don't have lemons on hand, you can absolutely just use the, uh, the, uh, the sweet and sour with vodka, shaken, and there you have a lemon drop, uh, a lemon drop martini. But I would say take that extra step and do the, the simple syrup and the fresh lemon separately, garnish with some fresh lemon uh, peel, twist it, and it's, it, it, it's a much better experience in my opinion. So this is going to be the lemon drop martini, guys. Let's get to mixing. There you had the lemon drop martini you guys um best way i could describe it it's like a really boozy lemonade but when you use the homemade simple syrup and the fresh lemon juice with the uh with the lemon twist it's like the most posh boozy lemonade you'll you'll ever experience it's 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 so good and that's the thing guys too like you don't have to make things complicated just use good quality ingredients and the end result will be really really special so it's a really really good boozy lemonade basically is what the uh, the lemon drop martini is so for this last one we're doing the chocolate martini so this is this is gonna I'm, I'm really excited for this one uh in that in the last mixing for the uh for the lemon drop we used the last of the kettle one vodka fortunately i have a bottle of a alberta pure up in the shelf yeah alberta pure you know pretty pretty bottom shelf vodka my apologies but we do operate on a budget here so we, you know, no Grey Goose or Belvedere at the moment. But yeah, so start with our vodka, which is now Alberta Pure, as opposed to the Kettle One. Um, and then you're going to need some cream de cacao, chocolate liqueur, and then we're going to use some Godiva, white chocolate liqueur. And what's really going to make this drink special is we're going to uh, glaze the inside of our martini glass with a little chocolate syrup. So this is going to be the chocolate martini, guys. This is going to be the last drink of the of the video, by the way. Um, yeah, chocolate martini, guys. Let's get to mixing. And there you have it, you guys. There was the chocolate martini. Um, just chocolatey, chocolatey, chocolatey flavor in it with uh, the benefit of it being extremely strong because you got one spirit and two liqueurs in there. So there's, And there's no non-alcoholic mixes, really, I guess. Well, chocolate syrup, kind of, but I don't know if that really counts. So it's a really, really strong drink, but it's full of chocolate flavor. It's, re it's very, very good. So I, I, I highly recommend you guys try that one out. Um, yeah, if I... <sighs> If I had to pick one of my, out of the five we made today, if I had to pick a favorite, honestly guys, I'm probably still just gonna say the classic martini for me. Um, although the espresso martini is a close second. That that thing's, that thing's something special. 
but the, uh, the the classic's probably my favorite. I, I, I love classic cocktails, guys. So martinis, uh, old fashions, uh, just drinking a spirit neat or on the rocks is great. Um, whiskey sours, you, you know, I, I like really, really iconic uh, cocktails. I don't know why, those are just my favorites. I find modern drinks nowadays, people oftentimes too much try to water down the flavor of the alcohol too much, um, which is usually an indication that people are less drinking because they enjoy it more so because they drink, you know, they want the effects of it, right? Which is especially, especially young people. But, you know, now that I've gotten a little bit older, I, I, I truly just enjoy a drink as opposed to just trying to get it into me sort of thing. Um, so that's why I've always kind of, you know, leaned towards more classic cocktails and it doesn't get more classic than the martini. But those were some different variations that you guys can try and play with, and I hope you do. Because uh, every single one of them, although different, very, very good in their own ways. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun mixing these drinks for you here tonight. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll be doing a lot more iconic drinks like that in the future. And, you know, I just had a great time with you guys tonight. So make sure you're always drinking responsibly out there, you guys. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. All that, all that BS as usual. And, uh, you know, have a great time, guys. Take care.